Chapter 2. In this segment of Generations, we'll head to the home of Brian Campbell to meet yet another talented youngster. Let's go to Strathroy and meet this kid. Tonight's youth entrant comes from Strathroy, Ontario's Minor Hockey Association. Six-year-old Easton Cowan has played the game he loves since the age of three. He loves his Maple Leafs and captain Dion Phaneuf. Easton's greatest asset is his speed, winning a fastest skater competition this past summer. Our future focus tonight shines on a young defender who has made the huge impression of the September camp. He's a blue chipper, defenseman Jake Gardner. How much sharper did your focus on professional hockey become following your trade to Toronto last February the 9th? Yeah, I mean, well, when I figured I was being traded, uh, and I got the call that, that morning, and uh, right away I was just shocked that I got traded. I think everybody is when we get traded, but uh, it felt good to be wanted in an organization. Uh, you know, Brian Burke drafted me in Anaheim, and it felt great being back in, in his organization. And um, it was just—it was kind of an easier, easier decision to turn pro after that. I think. Was the decision to turn pro one of mixed emotions after three years at Wisconsin, and uh, one I assume that was difficult, given your sense of loyalty to Coach Eves and, and the program. Yeah, well, Madison, Wisconsin is a tough place to leave, that's for sure. Um, just being the college town that it is, and I kind of wanted to finish school, but hopefully I'll go back in the summers and do that. Um, and Coach Eves is a great guy and an unbelievable coach. Um, he's been, uh, you know, over the years, I think he's won a championship, and he's been close a couple other times. And uh, I'm very loyal to him, but uh, you know, I decided it was, it was right for me to, to move on with my career and, and uh, take the next step. Phil Kessel uh, compares to you in several ways. Out of state, a Madison guy who went to Minnesota, you're a Minnesota guy who went to Wisconsin. What kind of controversy does that stir up when you're from, a, from one area and you go to the other state's arch rival? Yeah, well, I remember uh, watching the Gophers play Madison when Kessel was playing, and, and you could just tell that he was you know, extra excited to play those guys. And when he scored, he'd do an extra celebration or something like that. But uh, it, was, it was always fun playing Minnesota. My brother's on the goal, or was on the goal first, he left. But uh, you give it an extra oomph when you, when you play those guys, and it's, and it's cool playing your hometown. But uh, I just decided to go to Wisconsin just because you know, it's, it's a great place to play. And the coaching staff with Osiki, he left to go out to Ohio State. But him and Coach Hughes are just great coaches. But, uh, but like I said before, Minnesota and, and the Wisconsin rivalry, is, it's been huge for, for years, and it's, I'm sure it will stay like that for many years to come. How valuable was that 10-game stint with the Toronto Marlies last spring and getting you to that next level eventually? Uh, well, I mean, I could have said I, I didn't want to sign and, and not play at all, but I think just getting my feet wet a little bit and, and getting that pro experience is, is going to help me a lot. And hopefully I come into training camp with, uh, you know, with a big impact, and, and we'll see what happens.